In this video, we are going to see that if you uh, see this error of Ryzen master unable to initialize, kindly reinstall the program, hence aborting. And it's kind of frustrating. So here's uh, some quick solutions for it. First of all, just go to the AMD official website and just try to uninstall the current driver and just download a fresh copy of the new driver from the AMD official website. And hopefully that should solve the problem. And if the problem is still not resolved, what you can do is just go to the start menu and just right here, regit it, which is for the registry editor. Just open this up, click yes. And even make sure that you run this as administrator. So let me just close it and open this again. Just right click here, click on run as administrator, click yes. And guys, before even proceeding, just make sure that you take a backup of the registry editor because if something goes wrong, it might corrupt the windows. So just go to the file, click on export and just export a document backup. You can write here the backup date backup date or something like that which is easy to remember for you and just after that just click on save and the procedure will be same if anything goes wrong just go to the file click on import and just select that particular file for the registration restoration and after that just uh, start the procedure click on hk local machine then go ahead and click on systems and after that just search for current control set then click on control folder and after that, we have the CI folder. Just double click on that to expand this and just click on config within this option. And you can see the complete path on the top. So it's easier for you to locate this. And after that, just you, what you can do is uh, you can see this second file, which says vulnerable driver block list enable. Uh, just double click on that. It is by default set to one. We need to set it to zero. Click OK. And guys, if you don't have this value already here, just right click here, click on new and just select D word 32 bit value and just make sure that you have to write it in exact same way using and considering that it's case sensitive as well. So if V is capital, you need to make it capital. If D is capital, you need to make it capital without any spaces in the same way like this is written. And once you've done that, just double click here set the values and it will work as the normal one, which is right above. And after that, just close everything and restart your computer and hopefully your problem should be resolved. So that's pretty much it guys. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did hit the like button and subscribe to our channel and I will see you in the next one.